Okay, I'm going to try to walk you through this. Um, this is a uh, SRT setting with uh, PMI 9mm Easy Bend. And what I have, you'll see laying on the ground the tail of the rope and it goes up and I'll, I'll try to uh, zoom in and keep you in touch with what's going on. This goes up to my tie-in point which we can't see but it's got a one of those plastic rope sleeves over it and it comes down we'll chase this one down this time to what would appear to be a ground anchor but in fact is not it is a pulley so the the other the long side of the rope can go through that you can see it will chase it down here over to a pulley here over to a ground anchor here now the purpose of all this is to get the full length of the rope involved in the climb because I want to be on 150 feet of rope. So the way I've got this set up, except for that uh, four or five feet of tail on the ground, when I start going up this uh, rope, I will have 150 feet, almost, minus that little tail, of nine millimeter rope involved in holding me. Now, this may seem like a lot of gear, and it's not something you'd want to do, but my purpose is to get my full length of rope involved in the climb, not to just do a ground anchor and climb. I want to evaluate bounce that the, the nine millimeter PMI has as I climb. I'm gonna to try to document this as we do it. This is probably not too far from a uh, realistic situation as far as a simulation goes because I have a rope sleeve up at the top over the uh, tie-in point, which is typical. Uh, I've got about 95% efficient pulleys in the loop, and I've got a few uh, ground ties that actually are going to add some flex to the system. So this is really going to be a worst-case scenario where uh, if you had a, about a 70-foot tie-in point with a rope sleeve and you came back down and ground anchored, you'd be on 150 feet of rope approximately and that's about what I am here. So let's see how this goes. I'm only using one camera today, um, so we're just going to take what we can get. I'm going to climb up and I think I've got enough range here uh, to uh, illustrate the bounce. Uh, the higher I go, the less bounce I'm going to have anyway because I'm, I'm getting on less and less rope. So let's give this a, a try and see how it does. Okay, set up here, and um, let's just see what the bounce looks like. As you can see, there, there's bounce, but it's nowhere near the um, amount one would think you'd see on 9mm rope. I mean, this is 150 feet of nine millimeter easy bin and uh, we got about 200 pounds bouncing on it and it's not doing a lot of, of uh, stretch and this is new rope and I expect as I climb on it uh, over time it's going to bounce even less all right let's go up I'm feeding the rope by holding it between my my feet uh, at this low level since I've just got that short tail on the ground 
that's a classic um, technique for a frog system is to pinch the rope. Uh, their uh, foot loops are very close together, tied uh, right at the feet, so the rope is kind of trapped in there. Uh, right now, the rope is just free feeding. Uh, I'm not doing anything to make the rope feed, so it's just uh, raise the knees and push up and raise the ascender and just keep going. It is auto feeding now. It is, if you'll notice through this whole thing, you just don't see bounce. Um, I didn't feel bounce. I don't see bounce. I don't think you will either. Uh, well, a little. Of course, uh, we're on 150 feet of rope here. And we have some redirects involved too. I'm putting on a Grigory right now. We'll look at the uh, control and what I'm going to do is tie a safety knot uh, just to uh, tide me over until I can make the changeover. I'm pressing up in my foot loops and actually removing my chest ascender and uh, taking the slack out of the Grigory. Now I'm removing the foot loop uh, ascender so we'll pull out the knot and come down. There's a lot of control here. As you can see, I'm stopping and uh, controlling the descent uh, very easily with a Grigory and uh, wherever I want to go, stop, start, it's easy to do, a very soft landing. Uh, just doesn't get a whole lot better than that. I'm very pleased with this. I like this rope. It does what I expected it to do.